It's kind of like a guest cameo with Piper. No, start that guest now. <laughs> You're not with Piper. No, okay. Hi, I'm Maria and I'm back with another review. This time I'm going to be doing it for Sci-Fi Saturday. I don't usually do this category, so this guy really is high for me. So today I have picked The Silver Metal Lover by Tanner Flea. And look at this title, I mean, do I need to say more? I picked this book because um, at the time I had been watching Once Upon a Time, you know, the ABC show, and my favourite character is from Pursuit Skin, who I absolutely love because he sarcastic, witty, but still got those wibby, wibby feelings and I want to wrap him up in a cocoon and protect him because a lot of bad things happen to him and it makes me really sad because I think he deserves better. Um, and I actually stopped watching that show halfway through season 2 because for me the show just plummeted and I didn't like it. So I stopped watching the show but this follows the sci-fi novel and it's set either really far in the future or in some dystopian world. I can't tell. It's just somewhere with lots of futuristic things that happen like robots and trains that go from a castle of the sky down to ground level which is kind of weird but anyway it follows the life of a 16 year old girl called Jane who is very plain Jane um very unemotional very she doesn't really know who she is or she's very naive about the world as well she's kind of been I guess living in her own head a little bit. She's just trapped in a little bubble. But she meets this android who is very lifelike. There's, there's, the, uh, there's a new line of android droids and they with silver um, glittery skin colour. Which is a metal so it's cool to the touch but it's still very soft like our skin. So that's interesting and so this book kind of talks about what it means to be human. What it is, what is it that defines us as human beings compared to, I guess, animals that also our own creations, our own robots. Because he could do pretty much anything and he could probably do it better than us, to be honest. But what is it that makes him different to us? Because the other thing is, he's also got free will. He can think for himself. So this is, this is artificial intelligence, which for me as a computer science major is very interesting and this is the kind of stuff I love. So this was a really fun read for me and yeah, it's a very good book. Um, I actually hated the, I hated Jane at the beginning of the book because I found her very annoying, very whiny, but you know, her character develops and I ended up loving her as a character. She's got, she actually develops some guts. She becomes a character I actually really like read, to read about and you know, I give kudos to the author for doing that because there is a lot of character development for 300 pages. Uh, yeah, so this book, Absolutely Love, made me cry at the end. If you love sci-fi, I guess Beauty and Beast kind of romance, just robots in general I guess? Just, if you want to give something new a try, I would definitely recommend giving this a shot because it is a really good book and I would give this and a rating of amazing. It definitely goes into my amazing part. I've read this probably about three or four times already. It's a really good book. So definitely go check it out. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see more.